Another Fisherman's Tale is the sequel to the superb reality-bending puzzle game, A Fisherman's Tale. While both games revolve around the use of interesting perspectives to progress through unique levels and reveal a well-written story behind the characters, the mechanics to do this are completely different between the two games. For the sake of this review, I will be talking about Another Fisherman's Tale as a standalone entity. However, if you enjoy VR puzzle games and have not played the first game in this series, seriously, you really need to fix that because it's awesome. Another Fisherman's Tale retails for around $20 and is available on PSVR 2, Meta, and Steam. So with that said, let's set sail and jump in. The hook for this game is your puppet-like character, complete with stretchy arms, detachable head, and swappable hands. The arms allow you to reach and navigate through small areas and grab things far away. The detachable head provides a way for you to launch the camera to different spots to get a better view, and the swappable hands give you different abilities to use as you navigate your way through the level to complete the puzzle. Kinda like this. Ah, oh. I think this is the right thing. Yeah, there we go. All of these combine into some unique and very memorable experiences. Okay, okay, I like this. This Wait, this is Traffic Jam, actually, because that's the car we have to get out, and these are all the other pieces. And we're not doing a very good job. I loved that game as a kid. But I did find myself wishing some of the hands were more useful. For the most part, each hand only has one real way to use it, and the puzzles really only have one correct solution. So the lack of flexibility and creativity was a bit of a bummer for me. Though controlling your detached body parts is a lot of fun and had me feeling like I was in the Adams family at times. Adams family. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. I was thinking of the Adams family when I was like, oh, we got this like creepy hand Tim Burton thing. It's Adams family. The story for this game is surprisingly emotional. I went in expecting a light story and was kind of punched in the face at parts, but in a good way. Um, but no, this is, this is, this is hitting you right in the feels. And it made me want to keep playing to see how things ended. Without spoiling much, the story has you switching between two characters. As Nina, you will put together simple dioramas and learn more about the real world and its story. As Bob, you will complete the puzzles inside the dioramas and discover how Bob and Nina's worlds connect. The sound for this game is great. The voice acting is spot on and the music is immersive and beautiful. Some of the songs are even pretty catchy. Okay, this is pretty fun too. Alright, we're gonna get this one. Song's kinda catchy too. Nice. As for the graphics, this is a gorgeous game, and I constantly was looking around to enjoy the scenery and the sets. No, but this looks beautiful. Gorgeous. <laughs> I know I keep saying that, but like this, this is a very good looking game, and this level particular, particularly, blah. this level looks good. I'm not gonna use my big words. Big words are hard. The controls for this game are easy to grasp, but they can be frustrating at times. This is mostly related to the fact that you might be upside down or facing a weird direction while trying to navigate your detached limbs around a puzzle. This was kind of this is kind of trippy. Dude, I just can't walk. This is such a struggle. This doesn't really detract from the experience, and I'm sure some of you more wrinkled brain viewers won't struggle as much as I occasionally did. But there are some puzzles that require you to really twist your hands and your body in weird directions. You know, I am not. <laughs> I am not enjoying the contortions that I need to do to get through this. I think I'm doing something wrong. And these can be especially frustrating at times. As for play styles and locomotion, the game does involve locomotion, but there are options to mitigate motion sickness, and the game can be played seated. So I don't think this is a game that you really need to worry about motion sickness for. Being a puzzle game, this isn't going to have a lot of replayability. Maybe in a few years I would pick this up again to re-experience the story, but honestly, that's not who I am, so I put the chances of that happening at like 5%. I like those odds. There are also no leaderboards or scores to compete on, which I think is a good thing for this game, but that does mean there's no reason to replay a level once you beat it. There are 5 chapters to progress through in the game, and I would expect most people would beat this game in about 2 to 4 hours, though it could take you longer if you have moments like this. This should be right. I'm so disappointed in myself. Overall, Another Fisherman's Tale is a worthwhile experience for any VR puzzle enthusiast, and it's a game that really shines in the VR setting. 
Controlling your detached limbs is a lot of fun, and the surprisingly deep and sometimes emotional story can really pull you in and leave you a bit reflective. Sometimes the controls can be a bit frustrating, but never enough to really dampen the experience, and I really enjoyed my time with this game. However, if I had to pick between this and the original game, I would say the original game was the better and more unique experience. Though it would be fun to play them together, because the stories do connect, and there are some small easter eggs for fans of the original game. So with that, I'm going to give this game a recommended buy, and if you are interested in seeing more gameplay, I have my full experience, with and without commentary, on my channel. So thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again. Two hooks? <laughs> now I must twice the pirate. Two hooks at the same time, man.